Former Gonzaga assistant coach Tommy Lloyd returned to Eastern Washington last week as his Arizona Wildcats took care of business against WSU on Thursday. We caught up with him after the game about his first trip back to our area since taking the Arizona job. They're my family, you know what I mean? Like, like I mean, it's, you know, 22 years. Last Wednesday may have seemed like a normal night at Jack and Dance, but in the back room, there was a family reunion happening. Yeah, yeah, we had a big group of people, a bunch of people yeah. from the athletic department and both coaching staffs, and uh, it was great to see a lot of them face to face for the first time. Of course, I've talked to them, but uh, yeah, it was really nice. As Tommy previously mentioned, the conversations in the Mark Few family tree are still free flowing. Well, as much as they can be. Yeah, we talk for sure. We talk. I mean, it, it's hard not to. I mean, you've, you know, I mean, we're, we're probably not having as intimate of conversations in depth as we used to have, but we're definitely talking basketball. And, you know, there's obviously a familiarity. Of, uh, we speak the yeah. same language, the same basketball language. So um, no concepts that we both like to do. So, yeah, for sure. What Tommy has done, though, no other head coach in Mark Few's lineage has. In his first year as the man in charge, Lloyd's morphed his program into a number one NCAA tournament seed. What does it just meant to you to be so successful? In your um, you know, honestly, I haven't given that any thought. I mean, I'm just locked in day to day. You know, we got a young team. We got a young first year head coach and, and we're kind of experiencing it together. So, you know, I honestly, I, I've never been good at reminiscing, so I'm not going to start now. But what he may start having to do is looking forward because he may have to play his former squad in give or take a month or so on the biggest of stages. I guess this year if we had to play him, it would probably be, we'd probably both be pretty happy to still be alive. So, you know, it would be, uh, it would obviously be great. You know, I'm, I don't know exactly how it would feel, but I think once the ball went up, I mean, I would do the best job I could for my group and University of Arizona to try to win the game. I mean, it wouldn't be much more complicated than that. Families can be complicated, but it sure seems like the Mark Few clan is a happy bunch. And Tommy is happy to watch his former home flourish from afar. What are your thoughts on Gonzaga this year? Uh, great. I mean, great team, obviously well coached, uh, you know, got a great plan, got great players. And um, yeah, I mean, they look like they're built for it. Right now, if the tournament were to start today, Arizona and Gonzaga would both be number one seeds, so that means the earliest they could meet up is in the final four. Of course, they could also be on opposite ends of the bracket, and if they both went out, play in the championship game, I know for Gonzaga fans, those are both scary propositions.